everyone. I already talked about preparing for your first day at home with your greyhound and that first day with them at home. And in this video, I'd like to talk about the first few weeks or even the first few months of settling them in to your new environment. So this is going to be a difficult time for any greyhound if they've never lived in a home before. And even if they've been fostered, they've still got quite a lot to get used to when they move homes. So they're not familiar with you. They're not familiar with living in a home environment rather than a kennel. And if they're now the only dog, they're not used to being without other dogs around them. So there's quite a lot going on for them. And unfortunately, at the moment, over recent months with the lockdowns and restrictions, then the dogs may not have been socialised as much as we might have liked to do in the past because we haven't had the opportunity to do that. So to help them to settle in, it's important to take everything as slowly as you can. Every new thing they have to cope with adds to the stress that they're under. And whilst we can't prevent any of these things because they do need to get used to them sooner or later, then we can avoid adding too much stress at the start. So if you can, try not to have visitors initially. Certainly in the first few weeks, it will be best not to have groups of visitors to the house, whether they're adults or children. Avoid having long days out in new places that they don't know because that in itself can be stressful. And of course, it will be tiring because they won't have as much opportunity to rest as they would if they'd been at home. It can be a good idea only to give them basic treats rather than more exciting ones because they may not be used to having exciting treats and this may make them possessive about the treats and then you have to manage how you get them to release those treats back to you if you feel they shouldn't be having something. And of course, just as we need plenty of sleep to help us feel good, so do the dogs. So allow plenty of time with quiet, restful situations so they can sleep and feel better later. So it's always helpful to establish a routine as soon as you can. Times of day, more or less, when you feed, when you walk, when they rest. Stick to short local walks to help them become familiar with the walks around them, the dogs you might meet at that time, and the sights and the sounds of their new environment. It pays to take time just to stand and watch or to let them sniff so they can take in everything that is new to them and it can start to become more familiar. You might like to use a calming spray that you could spray onto a cloth or onto you for that matter before you go for a walk. And back at the house, you can use a calming spray. You could use background music as well as setting up a safe space such as a crate or a secluded corner or a playpen that is theirs when they need to take some time out. Be prepared for tummy upsets as well. Greyhounds seem quite prone to this and in those early days when they're feeling worried then stress can cause an upset tummy and loose stools. I would stick to the recommended food to start with and avoid any rich treats that might make their tummy worse. But if you do want to move them on to a different sort of food then you can transition them over about five or seven days until they're eating that new kibble and do make sure that they have enough to drink at all times. If they have a very upset tummy then try chappie and rice or egg and rice for a few days and begin to reintroduce the kibble slowly and see how they do. There is firming paste and tablets available from pet shops or online that can be helpful but if this goes on for more than two or three days, then I would get advice from your home checker or from your vet. It's not uncommon for the dog to appear very well behaved and quiet initially because they're actually overwhelmed with the situation. And this may make them seem like they're actually well behaved when rather they're a bit worried. And things may change as they start to settle in. Look out for the signs of concern through changes in their body language. Perhaps they're yawning, licking their lips, blinking faster, their eyes are very wide, or they turn their head away. All signs that they're concerned. Now's a good time to begin basic house training, teaching them simple commands like waiting or settling in their bed. 
and from the beginning I would teach them their name Adrian. so you can use this at any time if you need to get the dog's attention the first few weeks is also a time to help them begin to get the idea of being alone and understanding that you're going to come back as well they may never have lived on their own before and this could be quite challenging for them so you need to start very small and this is something you may well want to seek help with but don't always rely on social media use your support network by talking to your home checker or asking for a behavior consultation it's much better to act sooner rather than later because if small problems arise they're much easier to deal with than if you allow them to grow so i hope you found that useful talking about the first few weeks or even the first few months for your greyhound in your new home as part of your family. We'll be back again soon with more videos for you. Bye for now.